Hey everyone, today on Crafty Friday, I'm going to show you how to make a fishtail friendship bracelet. I really like the way that this pattern looks and it's super quick and easy to do. I'm talking 20 minutes or less for the version with four colors. If you want to add six or eight colors to your bracelet, then it might take 30 to 45 minutes depending on how fast you braid. Compared to the really intricate friendship bracelets, this is pretty much done in a snap. So I hope you enjoy it. Before we get into the tutorial, let me know if you want to see more friendship bracelet DIYs in the future. And if you know of the pattern that you want to see, leave that in the comment section below. Now let's get started. To make a bracelet, you'll want at least four colors of embroidery floss. I'm using six colors for this rainbow design. I'm cutting each piece of string to be the exact same length, no shorter than two and a half feet, but I do recommend three feet. Put all the colors of string together and make sure that the ends line up. Once you've done that, fold the bunch of strings in half so that the ends are on one side. And then you're going to form a loop in the other by knotting it around your finger. And if you're using a button closure, make sure that the loop is only a tiny bit bigger than your button. You'll see later on in the footage. Separate the strings so that half are on the left and half are on the right in the color order of your preference. Secure the loop to a piece of fabric or a pillow with either a piece of tape or a safety pin. I'm starting with the outermost string on the left, which is orange for me. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it over all the other strings on the left and place it on the inside. Then take the outermost orange on the right and you're going to bring that over everything and then bring that to the middle. Now go for the next outermost string on the left. So I'm taking the red one as you can see, bringing that over the top of the other strings and placing it in the middle next to that orange one. Then on the right, I'm taking the red outside string and I'm bringing it over the top of the strings and placing it in the middle next to the other orange string. Repeat the step with purple. So take that and bring it to the middle and then take the right purple string and bring that over to the left side in the middle. You're going to keep repeating the same thing over and over until your bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. I got through one color rotation, so now I'm back to orange, and I'm just going to show you the same thing again, but more up close this time. So if you were confused by the other footage, maybe this will clear it up for you. Seriously, it is so easy, and once you get the hang of it, you can go quicker and quicker every time you make a new bracelet. Tighten the strings as you go and make sure that the colors stay in order. You'll want to do the same color pattern every single time unless you want to go for a different look, but just try to keep track of what you're doing and make them nice and neat. Once the bracelet is long enough, you're going to just take all the strings at the bottom and tie them together. You'll probably want to make a couple knots and then here's where the button comes in if you want that to be your closure that is. So you're going to just take a button that's a little bit bigger than your loop at the top. I cut off four of the strings on one side and four on the other. This leaves two strings on each side to thread through the button and basically secure your bracelet with knots. Cut any excess string once you've tied the knots. And if you want to secure the knot a little bit better, you can add a dab of clear nail polish or some super glue. 
Now I'm making a bracelet with eight colors. I want to show you how I measure the button to the loop when I'm first tying the strings together. For this one, I wrote down all the colors in my bracelet and this is the pattern that I'm going to follow. It makes it a lot easier just in case your strings get out of order somehow. And I timed myself making this bracelet. I started the timer after I tied the loop. So it actually took under 20 minutes, just under 20 minutes, to get to the part where I tie the knot at the bottom. To attach this button, I only left two strings and I made this one a lot neater because I tied the knot on the back of the button so it just looks so much more clean. Finally, I'm doing another four color bracelet, but this time I'm not really going in a certain pattern so I put different colors on both sides and I'm just doing the same thing again as I would with the other bracelets, just bringing the outer one to the middle and then the other outer one to the middle, you know, you get the drill. This one took me less than seven minutes to braid, so you could definitely do the entire bracelet in less than 20 minutes if you're doing the four color one. Which bracelet of mine is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you end up making a fishtail friendship bracelet of your own, be sure to show me a picture on Instagram. Use hashtag SoCraftastic in your photo caption. Or if you prefer, you can share your photo on Twitter or my Facebook fan page instead. And by the way, my wrist is six and one fourth inches around. Just so you know, and you can base it off of Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get the So Craftastic family to 1 million and beyond. Always doing the hand motions. I hope you all have a great rest of the day and come back next Friday for a new DIY here on So Craftastic. Bye! Hey everyone! I suck at intros sometimes. All the time, every day that I film. You had to make a fish. <laughs> a, a. I don't know. Today on Crafty Friday, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to not laugh. Hair in my mouth? Is that a plane? A jet? What? Oh, I stepped on a weight. I swear, there's a weight down here. <laughs> Six pounds because I am buff. No, you know, these things actually get really heavy when you lift it for a while. Uh, power! I have no clue what's going on anymore. Remember to keep sending in your photos using hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys create. Thank you so much!